Hi, I'm Holly of Holly Soap Making. I've had a few soap requests lately from my family and friends, so I thought I'd do a short series on my three most requested soaps, starting with one I've been making for over 10 years, my salt, pink clay, and coconut milk soap that's scented with a sweet grapefruit blend of essential oils. I'll show the recipe at the end of this video, and all of the other details will be included as I go along. You'll also find links and information listed in the description box below. For the salt in this soap, I used a fine Himalayan pink salt. I also like to use fine sea salt or fine kosher salt if I have them on hand. Most salt soaps contain salt in quantities 50 to 100 percent of the oil weight. However, this one only contains 10 percent salt. So for my 1300 gram recipe, I weighed out 130 grams of the fine Himalayan salt. I've tried various amounts of salt over the years, and this one was just always the favorite. You can add more if you like, just remember the amount of coconut oil and superfat in the recipe will need to be increased to counter the salt's effect on the lather and the drying effects of the increased coconut oil. I normally use no more than 23% coconut oil in my recipes, but increased it to 50% here to help with the reduced lather due to the salt. And my super fat is usually 5-6%, to but I increased it to 12% to counter the drying effects of the increased coconut oil. In addition to the salt, I like to add a little rose kale and clay to the soap. I mixed it with some distilled water to make it easier to blend in later. Instead of using 100% coconut milk for this soap, I used the milk and oil method instead. I calculated the liquid requirement for my lye based on a 33% lye concentration, or a 2 to 1 water to sodium hydroxide ratio. I divided that liquid amount and used half as distilled water to dissolve the sodium hydroxide, and the other half was added as coconut milk to the melted oils. I've used this process in the past and have another more detailed milk and oil video that I'll link below if you'd like more information on this method. Just a quick safety note that soap making does involve the use of sodium hydroxide which can burn your skin and permanently damage your eyes. So be sure to learn and follow lye safe handling procedures when you're making soap. Also keep in mind when you're making a strong lye solution like this one, it will get much hotter than normal and can emit more fumes, so don't stand directly over the container and work in a well-ventilated area.
I stopped blending at a light trace and poured off about two cups to add the pink hill and clay. I don't normally need to oven process this soap, but decided to use a warm oven for a short period of time just to help the soap fully gel. I preheated my oven to its lowest temperature of 170 degrees Fahrenheit and then turned it off. I placed the mold in the warm oven for about two hours and at that point the soap had completely gelled. I removed the soap from the oven and left it uncovered on the counter until the next morning when I was able to cut it. Even though I only use 10% salt, this soap does get hard really fast, so I always cut within 16 to 18 hours after making it to prevent my wire cutter from breaking. Since I was making a cold process soap, I left the top of lye set to sodium hydroxide or NaOH. My recipe oil weight was 1300 grams. My lye concentration was set to 33%. 
I set the super fat to 12% and my fragrance usage rate was 50 grams per kilogram. Once you have everything entered, you just select to calculate the recipe, then to view or print it. SoapCalc will give you a really nice listing of all of your ingredients, including the amount of sodium hydroxide required to saponify your oils. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you found something useful here to help you in your soap making.